Dear Lord, I thank you for this day that we've had, this Sunday, to worship you, to come into your presence, and to come into this community together. And I thank you for the new visitors you brought into this place, and I pray that you would um, help us to, to welcome them well and to appreciate them. And I pray that we continue to be united in purpose and in vision as we continue to serve you. I pray that as we go out from this place, that we would go out encouraged, knowing that you are the one in control. I pray that you would um, take away the fears from our mind, that you would give us your peace, you'd give us your confidence, so we can go out in your power and in your authority, O oh God, looking forward to the future you have prepared for us, the kingdom that we will inherit at the, the final throne room, O oh God, the final courtroom where you will issue your justice for all, O oh Lord. So I pray for each one of us. I pray that you would be with us. We would serve you faithfully. And I pray that even as we take tea, as we enjoy this afternoon, we continue to reflect on your blessings and the ways that you've revealed yourself to us in our lives. So I pray that you have a great week. And you can even meet here next week and continue to seek after you. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. 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 Never fail me. He never fails me. He never should. 
reign in our families, Lord, that you may reign in our homes. And Lord, we thank you because you are able. One more time we say,
thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, his love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, his love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, his love endures forever. Church, I want to invite us to a time of prayer. This morning, it will be a threefold. The first three minutes, I want you to just thank God for what the Lord has done in and through your life since the beginning of this year. Just take time. Thank God. We've started the eighth month. The Lord has been faithful in the seven months that we've lived. So take time to just thank God for what he has done in and through your life for the seven months. And then the second fold, you will turn to your neighbor and ask your neighbor to share the good and wonderful things that the Lord has done in their lives and thank God for that. And then the last part of the prayer, moving forward, that the Lord will enable us to be the salt and the light in our sphere of influence. One as if you, whatever is comfortable, get a corner. We have ample space. Move around. Raise your voice to the Lord. If you feel like going on your knees, never mind the floor is dusty. It might not be carpeted. But just do whatever you want to do this morning. So take the first three minutes. Just thank the Lord for his faithfulness. Then the second three minutes, turn to your neighbor and just thank the Lord for what the Lord has done in their lives. And then the last three minutes, that we will be the salt and the light going forward. Let's do some business with the Lord this morning.
Russia, Russia. Mm. How much do I deserve? <laughs> Thunderbolt. Yeah. Thank you for welcoming me back. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I've been away for weeks. Let me tell you, I have missed MC Karen. Um, I was at Rongai, um, Nairobi Chapel, Rongai, uh, the last two Sundays of June. Oh, you are abroad. Abroad, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Rongai in Bali. And then the whole of July was at Gong Road. Um, and I was sharing with the teens at Rongai and with the young adults at uh, Blitz at Gong Road. And I have missed the warmth of a small congregation. And so today, I even arrived fast. Let me just say, I was the first person to come and go like, ah, oh, my people, my people. <laughs> so it is a delight to, to worship with you again and be part of this community. Um, I have seen so many new faces, uh, which for me, the challenge would be to get to know each and every new person this month. But even as I get to know you, if there's any of us who are visiting for the very first time, Kama leo ni mara yako ya kwanza ku Abudu Nasi. Asi jalemewa, asi jalemewa. Anybody worshiping with us for the first time? Oh yeah. I will you to just last last year. You give them their own rasha rasha. If you kindly stand up, please. We will ask you to introduce yourselves. But we will, oh wow. We will invite you for a cup of tea after church. Um, we would love to get to know you. So even as the ushers have placed um, a card in your hands, kindly fill it in and drop it into the offering bags. Um, and then let's catch tea after service together. I would really love that. So congregation, let us give them a very warm Russia Russia. Thunderbolt, another one. Russia, Russia. <coughs> Thunderbolt, well done. Thank you. Karibuni sana and Sikaren. My name is Shegs Gisheshe, and I am one of the pastors here at NC Karen. Um, I primarily have a passion for young people. I love the youth and I'm passionate about them making informed decisions about their life, including becoming a believer and following Jesus Christ. And so, here at NC Karen, I play many roles, um, but it's such a joy and a delight to serve and be part of this congregation. So, some of the things um, this new month, the study a new sermon series, exciting things are happening. So, I just want to bring your attention to three things. The first one being, we have our plug 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 in launch. I don't know if you have a plug. But plug in launch. Plug in is our 10 week discipleship um, small group where members come together and meet over a study for 10 weeks so that they can get to grow together as a community, um, get to know what their purpose is, and connect with God, and also connect as a church. And so we've had sign ups um, over the last four, five months as we've met here. And so we would like. Um, if there's anyone else who still wants to join that group, today is the last chance. Uh, plugin starts on Sunday. <coughs> it starts on Sunday. And we are looking forward to it um, because it's an exciting time um, of community and fellowship. Secondly, um, I don't know why I always announce things to do with food. <laughs> last time when we had the Yamachoma, I was still alive. <laughs> we have food again. Yeah. Again. Um, next Sunday, we are having a breakfast, and so we want to invite all of you, and for you to invite others as well, uh, because one of the things, as early as when we started the church, we wrote down some values, things that we want NC Karen to be identified with, and one of them was community. I think almost everybody wrote community. And so we have decided to do community around food. We are Africans. So next Sunday we are having breakfast um, as part of service. So please do not eat at home. Again, like the Nyama, there was so much leftover meat from our barbecue. There's going to be so much food for breakfast. Please come with empty stomachs, please. And for the kids as well. Like we're having breakfast as a community. So please, please prepare yourselves to come and 
and eat um, and fellowship with one another. The third thing I'd like to bring uh, to your attention is that as a Ruby Chapel, you know, part of our vision is to plant 300 churches. And um, every year we have a conference called Viral, whereby we just gather together people who uh, are passionate about planting churches. Um, the Lord has sent them to go to new places and just pioneer churches. And so on the 17th to the 19th of August, we are having Viral Conference at Gong Road, the main church um, near Jamhuri, SK Showgrounds around there. Um, and sometimes it's not necessarily even for lead pastors. I want to say, as a, as a pastor who supports the lead pastors, um, it is for anybody who wants to know what it's like to pioneer something and be part of supporting that pioneering initiative. And so feel free to come and join us for the conference or invite people you know that this would be beneficial for them. Um, our very own pastor team here uh, will be planting in Kitale um, by the end of the year. And so even as he serves with us, we are excited that we get to, you know, be part of that launch process with him and get to be part of his story because he has been part of our story. So viral conference is happening this August. And then lastly, we have um, prayer and fasting. Oh, finally. About, about food. Denying ourselves. <laughs> First we eat and then we deny ourselves, right? <laughs> okay, so this month we we start a new sermon series on prayer. Uh, we're calling it Express Mail. And um, as we go through the sermon series, we felt it best that we do incorporate some actual prayer and fasting even as we study because it's the practicality of the message. And so we want to invite you to prepare yourselves the last week of August uh, from the 22nd to the 27th um, that we can pray and fast together. We will have a guide um, to just enable us to lift up prayers to the Lord. And then after that, we will break the fast on the last Sunday. With food. With food. No, we will just pray some more. Yeah. We will pray some more. Uh, but we, I invite you to prepare for that because I believe it's it's a time where we'll we'll literally just present ourselves before the Lord, you know, as living sacrifices, because that's what it's about. Um, I'd like us to to get to know somebody this morning. Yeah, um, I will ask Fiona. Where is she? I cannot see her here. Did she step out? She's coming. I'd like us to get to know um, if you can help me with another mic. To get to know Fiona for a little bit. Was it the nervousness? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being honest. <laughs> um, it's not a suicide. Like, I did not just call her up like now. Um, she knew I was going to call her up. So, yeah. Hey, Fiona. Okay, just put the mic over here like this. <laughs> Either that or just like project your voice. Say so that. Yeah? Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you today? I'm alright. You're good? Just a bit. Nervous. Nervous? <laughs> okay. Will it help if I come and stood next to you over here? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Um, yeah, tell us who you are beyond the name Fiona. Good morning, church. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. We, I will, I never see. Kuna class. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I am going to try for the exam, maybe. Yeah, so cool. I mean, yeah, I love the headgear, always. Thank you. Cool. So tell us more about yourself. How did you, yeah, your family? I only know of your sister Chrissy. Do you have others? Yes. Um, yeah. How did you become a believer? Tell us. We are a family of three girls. I have an elder sister who is in Canada. I'm the second one, and she's a, Christy is the last one over there. Um, how did I? How did you become a believer? My family, by my mom and my dad. Um, but mostly my mother is the one who had great impact over my life. And so my childhood was fine, Christian-wise. Went to church, went to BBS. Who knows VBS, vacation study? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Um, 
she used to have a good study in the house, so sometimes we'd join him because most of the time there are snacks. So we <laughs> 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 So it was an exciting time at that time. Mm -hmm. So anyway, as we grew, you know that season of your life where you kidogo step out yes. of church yes. and yes. the light, mm. you go into darkness. Yes, I had that for about five, six years. And during that time, I lived life to the fullest outside. And I loved it at that time. But then, uh, because of my mom's prayers, I believe and her fasting, and she could see that my sister, and, my sister and I, my elder sister and I, were getting lost. And if it hadn't been for her prayers, I think probably we'd be dead by now, or maybe we'd be drug addicts, or we'd be prostitutes. You know, that nasty life uh -huh. that comes with the world. Okay. So what was the turning point? I think her prayers really worked because it took at a point where I just didn't like nightlife. I didn't like being outside of the church. Mm -hmm. It just it just became disgusting, for lack of a better word. Okay, I just could feel my Do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you have a neighbor who doesn't know, please interpret gift or interpretation of tags. This is where it is. And it's like ice cream and glitter. Ice cream is glitter. Yes. Uh -huh. So my Yes. <laughs> As a result of feeling my baby, I, I, I kind of took a step back and started thinking about the life that I was living outside of the, of the church. Okay. And from a very young age, I knew that I was gifted. I have certain spiritual giftings that I kind of um, put under the rug mm -hmm. for those few years. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember God telling me that you need to come back because I have you have a lot to do in my kingdom. Mm. But I, okay, for those he years. Did you alone? He did. Really? Yeah. Or he actually left him alone? Because of me living, because of me leaving him alone, okay. he left me alone. And he said, have your way. But then because of her prayers, mm -hmm. I think that that's when the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit had started um, speaking to me gently, mm -hmm. saying, please, please just come back and you'll not regret it. Mm -hmm. And he reminded me of the gifts that I have, which I had sat on. Mm -hmm. And so about two, three years ago, I think two years ago, to be precise, I came back, I dedicated my life to God, not wow. in front of Praise the church, the but, wow. yeah. but Kibiyangu, yeah. okay, private. Chinyamaji. Chinyamaji. Yeah. <laughs> Victor, yeah. could you just see in here? What are subtitles? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So I came back, uh -huh. and now I'm back. And I'm back. Yeah. Praise the Lord for that. Good. Amen, church. Yeah. Okay. So, what current, what's your current um, life like? How's your like last week? What's going on right now in your life? Oh, um, okay. before I get to that answer, okay. My current life is one of isolation, where um, in order for got to get rid of the nastiness that was in me. Mm -hmm. He had to remove me from the people that I used to hang out with. Okay. And with that comes isolation. Yani, you're left alone. It's just you and God mm -hmm. and your family. So yes, that is where I am right now. At the, at the beginning of, of it, um, it was quite lonely and quite new because I didn't know a life that wasn't social mm -hmm. beyond my family. And so it really, really, really bothered me. But now I'm, I'm okay with it because it's a journey and it's a season. Mm -hmm. So it's a season of being out there, now it's a season of being alone, being reminded of who I am in Christ and just learning myself and who I am in the, chi in the kingdom of God as his child. Mm -hmm. And when that journey, that season is over of isolation, I hope you guys will be in my life. <laughs> we are. Still, we are. We are. Yeah, and we'll form <laughs> new friendships that are in the church, not outside. Okay. You get? Yeah. yeah. Great. So, last week, what yes. happened? What happened? So, last week, mm -hmm. um, two weeks ago, Saturday, um, or by the way, for those of you who don't know, which I'm sure you don't know, I'm still 
in my growth and maturity phase where my teeth are still growing? No ways. <laughs> <laughs> so my my left tooth, my left wisdom tooth was growing. Be, um, be, um, began growing again because it goes through phases. It grows and stops, it grows and it stops. So it started two weeks ago Saturday. And I was like, not again. Because I know when my teeth grow, it's a nightmare. So much pain, so much discomfort. But I knew that's going to go away. But it didn't. Saturday, mm -hmm. the pain was not so bad. Sunday, the pain wasn't so bad. Monday, I woke up to a nightmarish life where um, my wisdom tooth was super painful. Mm -hmm. And I remember that evening, I had an exam. So I tried to brush it off. I didn't take a painkiller. When I'm sick, I become stupid. Ah. I can't think. Right. Okay. My mom thinks for me. <laughs> okay, okay. She has to remind me to take the basics. Take, take a painkiller, surely. Mm. Do this, do that. Okay. So I thank God for her. Mm. Uh, so I took a painkiller. It worked for like two, two hours, at least during the... No, actually, I didn't take a painkiller, sorry. So during that exam, Monday, I was about to black out because of the pain. Yeah, my my eyes had become became blurry. You remember me telling me? Yes, I was about to literally faint, but I I nganganad, finished the paper, and that's how you suffering. Okay. So, <laughs> so Tuesday, the following day, the pain became even worse. Now this time, mm -hmm. I couldn't open my mouth, like literally. I couldn't, it was this kadonye. Mm. <laughs> Even putting food in my mouth was a nightmare. Okay. Um, uh, a meal that could take me 15 minutes to, to eat took me two hours. Okay. This time it's gotten cold. I'm, I can't be bothered to reheat it. So I'm just there. Everybody's done with their plate. Me, I'm just there. Mm. <laughs> so, when, so my dad told me, you better go to the dentist. Then I remember him telling me, you know, there's this person that I know, he died because of a wisdom tooth. Oh, really? That's what your dad is telling you? Yes. Oh, dear. Because, <laughs> like, I understand why that person died, because right now I feel like I am dying. This pain can Near kill. Death. Okay. Near death experience. <laughs> not really. Um, a thousand ways to Who's ever watched that show? Uh -huh. <laughs> Too thick. Yes. <laughs> but later they took like that, that killed him. It's the infection that killed him. Ah, okay. But that time I didn't know I had an infection, but I actually did. So I paused wow. at that. I said, I will go, but not not tomorrow, because tomorrow I had an ex tomorrow, which was Wednesday, I had an exam in the evening. Mm -hmm. But then um now at night, because I was just lying on the sofa, I remember, and I was I was on the brink of just breaking down and crying because of the pain. <laughs> so my mom told me, are you sure you don't go to the dentist? And I was like, let's go. I don't care if I have an exam, we just have to get rid of this pain. So Wednesday we went to the dentist and I got an x-ray and it came out that this tooth is growing in the wrong direction and that's why there's so much pain and I had an infection. Oh. And so he, had, he prescribed for me medicine and he told me that I have to get it out, packed out. So, um, I took the medicine and one of them had a serious reaction on me. Uh, made a drug called Cataflam. Who was hard on it? We don't do drugs. Please, stay away from drugs. Do drugs. <laughs> 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 uh, if ever you're prescribed for that drug, please do not take it. Okay. It will lead to an early death. <laughs> Seriously, the, okay. the side effects are a heart attack, a stroke, and... So it reacted with you? Yes really, really badly okay. with my stomach lining. And, and another uh, side effect is um, bleeding of the stomach. Whoa. And it says that it will happen, it can happen any time of the dosage, whether it's the first time of taking that drug or as you progressively take it. Hey, Shpole, you had a rough week. I had, a, yes. You had a rough week. I had a really, really rough week. <coughs> so the, the fact that this is a testimony is because I had the, this, I had the effect, the, so, um, problem with the stomach, and at the same time, I had an exam. I had exams, and exams are not are not a joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have to be in your right um, frame of mind, which I wasn't. But anyway, I did it. I did the exams. I finished them, mm -hmm. despite the pain, despite yeah. the discomfort, and 
yes, I am here, I am alive, I am well. I remember last, last week I was telling a few people mm -hmm. that it's by the grace of God that I'm actually here, mm. not six feet under, because I thought I'd do it I don't know if I'm exaggerating, which I don't think I am. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was a big deal, and I thank God for that. Amen. Yes. So if I may ask you last question, what's one prayer that you made to the Lord and has he's answered and come big time in your life? Is it this past week? Um, uh, oh. <laughs> there are many prayers that have been answered. Yes, pick one. Something significant. Uh, to give my mother a long life. Wow. <laughs> and she's still here. She turned, she, her birthday was Monday. Okay. And so, yes, it's a big deal that she's still here. And to raise the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Churches, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can put like this. So uh, we've had. Yes. We shall honor that. Yes. Okay. To well, another, 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 yes, okay. another testimony is the beginning of this year. I was just as sick, maybe twice as sick. For two months, I was telling my neighbor Tony that I was sick. Like every day, I had something that was bothering my body, my flesh. And I remember my sister telling me, Aish, Jerry, when you are I'm tired of seeing you sick. Yeah. It, um, I was in hospital in and out. Mara is this, Mara is that, Mara is a whole conglomerate of diseases mm -hmm. that just attacked me for two months. And to, uh, to make it, um, to top it all up, I had to take antibiotics. And antibiotics are not really friendly with me because I react really badly to them. But anyway, I still. Uh, Praise the Lord for that. Yes. Hey. Okay. So yeah, let's give a hand to Fiona.